you can start an online collaboration session with AutoCAD WS in which people that you invite can simultaneously view and edit your current drawing. To start an online collaboration session, on the Autodesk 360 ribbon in the Share and Collaborate panel, click the Collaborate Now tool. If the drawing has never been uploaded to your Autodesk 360 account, or if the latest version of the drawing is not available there, the program displays the Save Drawing As dialog. Notice that the drawing is about to be saved to Autodesk 360. You must save the drawing before you can continue with this command. Once the drawing has been uploaded, AutoCAD WS will open in a browser window. AutoCAD WS is an application that interfaces directly with AutoCAD. Changes to your local AutoCAD drawings are synchronized with the online copies that you have stored in your Autodesk 360 account. The AutoCAD WS editor allows you to access and edit online copies from any computer with a web browser or using a mobile device. With AutoCAD WS, Multiple users can work on the same drawing file online and in real time. AutoCAD WS displays a dialog so that you can enter the email address of the person or persons you want to collaborate with. If you've collaborated using AutoCAD WS in the past, you can click the To button to display an Add Recipients dialog and choose collaborators from the list. You can also set their permissions and enter a message if you wish. When you're ready to collaborate, click Share. AutoCAD WS displays a message to let me know that the drawing has been shared, and an email with a link to the drawing in AutoCAD WS has been sent to my invitees. A few minutes later, the person I want to collaborate with receives an email informing them that I've shared a drawing with them. Notice that they can view the drawing online or download it to their local computer. In this case, they click on the link to view the drawing. When they do, a browser window opens and they're prompted to sign in to AutoCAD WS. If they don't yet have an account, they can create one now. Once they have signed in, they can see the drawing that I've shared. At this point, they can open the drawing so that they can view and edit it online using AutoCAD WS. This is a great way to collaborate with someone who doesn't even have a copy of AutoCAD. If they do have a copy of AutoCAD, notice that they could download the drawing to their computer, work on it locally, and then upload a revised copy. In this case, let's see how to collaborate online using AutoCAD WS. My collaborator clicks the Open button to open the drawing in AutoCAD WS. Notice that back on my computer, when my collaborator opens the drawing, I see that they've joined a meeting. I'll click OK. Since I'm online, my collaborator also sees that I have joined the meeting. Now we're both collaborating simultaneously on the same drawing file. Notice that the AutoCAD WS interface looks very similar to AutoCAD. It has a ribbon and a command line, just like AutoCAD. AutoCAD WS simply has fewer tools. Now, either of us can use the tools in AutoCAD WS to make changes to the drawing. For example, my collaborator doesn't like the placement of this desk. On the Home ribbon, he switches to the AutoCAD WS layer. This layer is created automatically when you open a drawing in AutoCAD WS. Then, he clicks the Cloud tool and creates a revision cloud around the desk and chair. Then, he clicks the text tool, specifies the opposite corners of a rectangle, types a note 
that the desk needs to be moved and clicks apply. Since we're collaborating in real time, I immediately see the revision cloud and the note. Notice that I can even see his cursor. I'm not sure how far he wants me to move the desk, so I'll use the chat feature to ask him a question. How far do you think it should be moved? As soon as I press Enter, a chat window opens on my collaborator's screen. He can now respond directly to me. As soon as he does, I see his message. Of course, either of us could make this change. I'll minimize the chat window. Then, in the ribbon, I'll click the Move tool. AutoCAD WS prompts me to specify objects. I'll use a window to select the desk and chair. Notice that this works almost exactly the same as AutoCAD. Then I'll move the desk and chair 18 units to the left. Since I really don't want the revision cloud or the text to remain in the drawing, I can simply select them and use the Erase tool to remove them from the drawing. Again, since we're working in real time, my collaborator immediately sees what I have done. When we're finished, either of us can save the changes. But there's actually no need to save the drawing. AutoCAD WS automatically saves all of the changes. If either of us were to close our browser, the next time we signed in and opened the drawing, we'd see all the changes that either person made. Of course, the changes are only saved to the online version of the drawing, which is stored in my Autodesk 360 account. If I wish, I can download the drawing to my local computer. As soon as the file has been downloaded, I see a link at the bottom of my browser window. And when I click that link, the downloaded drawing opens in AutoCAD.